Okay, residents of a picturesque country town of Pomfret in the USA are so fed up with influencers and tourists clogging their streets that they've imposed a strict ban. So essentially, they're saying this town has a population of 916 people, but it attracts 13 million travellers each year because of this stunning autumn foliage. So they're basically banning people from just standing and taking photos of themselves with their town in the background. Does this make sense? Look, I think, um, I think, look, kind of, look, I live in a cul-de-sac and every, every Christmas we have heaps of people coming to our cul-de-sac, parking their cars, living the rubbish. So in some aspects, it makes sense. I'm sure the town just wants to have, live its sleepy little town and, uh, and, and have no people come in. But on the other hand, I'm thinking 13 million people, cha-ching, why don't you just <laughs> have know. a boom day? <laughs> a boom gate and just get a dollar off, off everybody. $13 million dollars to be pumped into the town. I love it. You're such an entrepreneur. Elizabeth, what do you think? I mean, it can be, I mean, I get a laugh when I see, and look, I can be that person. I'm not going to pretend I'm not. But when you see people taking selfies, God, it makes me laugh. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Maybe we should start a new trend where people take uh, pictures of influencers taking selfies <laughs> and, and that's the new trend and they could all pay a dollar for that. But I think uh, Francis is right that it is a bit of a double-edged sword because, um, you know, you would hope that the influencers who do uh, obviously uh, go to these towns because it is picturesque and, and spread the word would be respectful. That's, I think, the main thing. Yes. But also um, having having the decency to ensure that, you know, that this is a, a town that they want to keep keep uh, to themselves and they're very, very proud of it and to do the right thing and be respectful about mm. the way they promote the town. Yeah, getting that balance, it, it's, mm. not that, it's not that easy to do, is it? Okay, finally, <laughs> and this is a little bit of fun, funny tombstones are one way to ensure you are leaving the world with a bang. This is like an emerging trend. Here are a couple. This one simply reads, sucks to be me. <laughs> Lola Holt says, oh well, Whatever. <laughs> Lorraine's tombstone says, the doctor said I would not live past my teen years. Lol. And she died at the age of 83. I don't know. I'm trying to think what I would have on mine. But even I'm, I'm awful with this stuff. I hate even thinking about death. I'd like to pretend that it will never happen to me or anyone I love, which is clearly ridiculous. Elizabeth, what would your tombstone say if it was a funny one? Yeah, that's that's a good question. And to be honest with you, I haven't thought about it. It'll be up to Mia and Ava. And uh, if they have Nathan's sense of humour, <laughs> I can guarantee you that it'll be a very tongue-in-cheek, some sassy response uh, that he will have the last laugh. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Francis, you're from the creative dancing, acting, singing world. You've got something good up your sleeve, don't you? Yeah, I love this idea because it's like the only opportunity you get to say something to the world and you don't have to respond back. So I think <laughs> like for me, for me, I, I would probably take a line out of Shaggy's, you know, song, It Wasn't Me. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So whatever people are thinking about, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. They'll find you in heaven or in hell, Francis. <laughs> Rest assured. Uh, Elizabeth Lee and Francis, absolutely brilliant. Very entertaining. Such a pleasure to have you both on.